Hi guys and welcome back. I might be a little late on this video, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my August favorites. I couldn't pick. I had a lot of August favorites or just summer favorites in general. I'm in full fall mode. My makeup, my wardrobe, everything is full fall attire. I'm over summer. I'm over the 80 degree days. I'm ready for fires. I'm ready for sweats. I'm ready for all of it. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Is it a holiday? It's a holiday. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. It's a holiday. So summer, you can go. Go and get, because we are ready for fall over here, okay? I haven't done a video like this in so long, so I'm super excited to show you what my August favorites are, so let's go ahead and jump in. I could not get enough of this product. Last month when I got it, I got it right around my birthday. It's the Desi Skin Body Gloss. Holy moly, if you wanna look like a disco ball in the best way possible, just beautiful, gorgeous, glowing skin. I'll put some pictures up of Desi herself because I don't know if I have any pictures of me with this, but it is such a beautiful product. And what it looks like on her in these pictures is what it looks like in real life. My legs just looked perfect when I would put this on. I'd put it on my chest, on my shoulders. And when you're out in the sun, it just gives you this beautiful, gorgeous glow. This stuff is bomb, so worth the money. Wore it every time I went out. Definitely one of my favorite products in general with everything I own. <laughs> the next product is a sunscreen that I used. It also helped to get a glow. It's a super goop glow oil. I got the little guys. I got them off of Amazon. This is my second bottle and it's almost gone, but I would put sunscreen on as usual. Um, I forget which sunscreen I would use, but it was... Ooh, I forget what sunscreen it was. But I would put a normal just sunscreen lotion, like the white lotion on all over my body, let that kind of settle in. And then over top, I would spray this and this would give me a beautiful glow. But this also has an SPF of 50 and worked great when I wanted to do like little touch up of sunscreen throughout the day, like when I was going kayaking or swimming or whatnot. I would spray this on because it was just super easy, but it gave that beautiful glow as well. So I was just a shiny little beam of light when I was uh, out on vacation in Florida, whenever I went kayaking, whenever I was at the beach all summer, um, well, not all summer, but at least last month, these two products were like my go-to products for sure to get that glow, to get that look. My favorite self-tanner that I've been using, I'm looking over there because I have a lot of products over there on my desk. I would go through phases with like three or four different self-tanners, but this one always just took the cake for me. It is the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Lotion. This gives such a natural bronze brown tan, not orange. It would give me instant color too, which is what I liked. And the fade, like when the tan would fade, would be beautiful. It would be even. I could put another layer on and it wouldn't affect anything. This stuff is just amazing. I will continue to use it into the fall just because it's just easy um it does have a little bit of a smell to it some people would say it smells kind of like chocolate yeah it definitely has like a chocolate smell to it which i love I, I love me some chocolate so i didn't mind the smell it doesn't last all day it doesn't have that normal self tan smell you know um so it didn't bother me that much but this is such a beautiful color I really only started wearing this by itself last month, probably about actually like two weeks ago. This will always be my go-to self tanner. Sometimes I mix other stuff into it, but if you're looking for like a natural looking brownish tan, no orange effect at all, I would highly recommend this one. I will link as many products down below as I can, by the way, so it's just easy for you guys to kind of take a look at and hopefully buy, you know, hopefully try it out. The next product I would use before my self tan, it's the raw sugar, sugar scrub. This is what I used to exfoliate and get like the dead skin off, get the self tanner off before I would tan again. I did have another sugar scrub that I was allergic to it. Like I was so itchy. This is like, I think back in June, so itchy, little red bumps all over me. I don't know if I exfoliated too hard either because I'm new to using a sugar scrub. I would, I used to use like an exfoliator mitt thing, um, but I like the sugar scrub and what it does for my skin. 
Uh, yeah, I was allergic to that, so that apparently can be a thing. So I would test a sugar scrub out, which is so weird that you would be allergic to it, but I guess you could really be allergic to anything. I was just surprised I had an allergic reaction to a sugar scrub. This one did not give me any problems. This one is the raw coconut and mango. I love it. Gets the job done. Smells so freaking good. And as you can see, I mean, I'm going through this big bad boy. I think it's great, uh, a great price for the amount of product you get. And gets me nice and exfoliated for my next go around of my self tan. Okay, so the next product I have is an electric razor. I'm seeing all these advertisements on TikTok about like getting your bikini line and just your vagine in general, like baby smooth. I am a huge, waxing advocate i love a good wax but it can be expensive and sometimes i just don't have time for it i just was trying to like find the best way to get that at home without going to get a wax and spend the money so so far i really like this it doesn't give 100 percent the waxing effect i'm not gonna lie to you but what i do like about this it has two different sides here that you can shave with you can shave both ways and then the middle part here you can you oh my god the tornado sirens came on i'm like I, every time i hear tornado sirens i think it's the apocalypse which i get kind of excited because like i'm a prepper <laughs> so i'm like okay it's time bitches it's time but it's it's the first it's the first wednesday of the month at noon so the the tornado signs are going on so if you hear it that's what's going on let's get back to this razor that sound like a vibrator sounds like a vibrator don't it but then in the middle part you can use this and go over everything um and just makes it even more smooth i would be my, my bikini line and everything else would just flare up and get the ingrown hairs and razor burn with this i don't get that but again it's not as effective as a wax but i really do like it and will continue to use it i had another electric razor that i bought but i actually ended up giving it to my husband because that would like pull my hair and did not work very well but this one i'm really loving and i haven't had any problems with it speaking of the vagine TikTok got me on this too. It's the Euro, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Euro Vaginal Probiotic Capsules. This has helped me so much. I just feel like because I'm on so much medication, this is probably TMI for some of you, um, but I'm an open book over here. I really don't give a damn. I'm gonna tell you, tell you like it is, and, and it, this is me. Like it, love it, hate it, this is me. Okay, let's move on. But this is for um, just supporting a healthy, healthy undercarriage you know what I mean and as you get older some things just ain't doing what they should be doing you know and this is my last year in my 30s some things sometimes just don't do what they should be doing so I started taking these last month I don't think it's like totally 100% effective yet I think it takes at least a month to become completely effective if not longer but I have not missed a dose but so far so good I do notice a little bit of difference so I will continue to take them I've heard great things about them the reviews are great so if you're interested in like even just balancing your pH which was like the biggest thing for me is getting my pH under control um like I said I think that it's that it's working I will know probably for sure before my next period next month so uh yeah maybe i'll keep you updated but if you're looking for a capsule for any of the reasons listed i would go ahead and give this a shot okay now for skincare and makeup i got to finally try the kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from youth to the people i've been wanting to try this for so long i just could never justify the price this was a gift from Sephora that I got last month and now I already bought the full size that's in my shower but this one's in my travel bag which is right here in my room. I'll take this camping with me. We have some camping trips coming up and um, other vacations coming up so this will be coming with me on my vacations but 
I really, really like it. I usually use the CeraVe SA, I think it's SA Renewing Cleanser, but this one has taken its place. I love it. I notice a difference in my skin and I will continue to use it, but this was definitely a favorite for me last month and will continue to probably most likely be a favorite going on, going forward. <laughs> This was, is, probably will continue to be my favorite blush. I really like the new Fenty one too. I tried that in my last video. This is the House Labs Color Fuse Blush. This is Dragon Fruit Days. I have talked about this in numerous videos. I freaking love this blush. It might not be the best blush for fall, but last month, I could not get enough of this on full glam makeup days, no makeup makeup days. It didn't matter. This was the blush I was wearing. It's beautiful. It, it stays on longer, I feel like, than normal blushes. Blush is usually the first thing to fade on your face. This is so good. I think it's worth the money. I can still see the logo in it, even though I've used this bad boy every freaking day, basically. Um, there's still a lot left. So I'm super happy with this purchase. If you're looking for a good blush and have the money to splurge a little bit on yourself, I would highly recommend the House Labs blushes. They are awesome. These two products that I'm about to talk about, I actually mix and I did this in my last video, but I've had them for a minute. Actually, I'm lying. I've had the Merit Great Skin um, Priming Moisturizer got this i would say a couple weeks ago but the new product that i've been mixing into it i used in my last video as well it's some milani sun-kissed liquid bronzing drops i mixed these two together and that's what i've been doing since i tried this combo and basically using it as a foundation i did that yesterday for work i got my neck and face to match each other which is using this combo and then i'll put a little bit of concealer on and powder blush highlight my makeup looked flawless. I did not do that today. I went full glam therapy session. Um, I do that when I just need to like, I don't know, have the time to myself. What am I trying to say? You ever just sit in front of your mirror, do your makeup and just go creative and do full drag? That's what I did today and I'm obsessed, okay? <laughs> but when I'm going to work, this combo, um, is lightweight, looks like your skin, but better. This is great for just a primer, which it's kind of advertised as such. It's a priming moisturizer. So dig it. I think it looks great under makeup. That's basically the moisturizer I will only wear under makeup. I used to use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream as my moisturizer before makeup. That works great too. This isn't as like, slippy slidey it's not as thick which is actually a good thing before your makeup so that's why i've switched to this i'm actually an affiliate with merit i will link um my personal link down below but um they did not pay me this is not sponsored nothing they sent me this but they did not ask me to do anything for them um but I will link it down below. You can also mix the bronzing drops not only in with your moisturizer, but like your sunscreen or to make your foundation darker, more bronze. So this stuff is awesome. It's like a, um, what is that brand? Drunk Elephant, it's like a Drunk Elephant dupe. I've never tried Drunk Elephant, but um, these are awesome. If you're looking for a bronzing drop, I would give it a shot. We are flying through this, flying through this. Did all this glam for 20 minutes <laughs> of footage. <laughs> all right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about here is fragrance. Was it TikTok that got me again? Oh my gosh, I think it is. I think TikTok is ruining me at this point, taking all my money. But I did buy the Venom perfume oil i don't know if you guys have heard of this but like they say it's like a pheromone perfume that like people go crazy over i got the roller one but like you just put it on wherever you want to put it on but it's actually like a love perfume i have so many perfumes i've been trying lately but i do really really like this one it lasts a while uh, my husband really likes it too so i'm not mad at that he's pretty picky with perfume so i try and like choose my perfumes with what he really enjoys 
but yeah venom scents the original scent i also got another one that i wasn't super crazy about i think it was like a peach scent it's just so peachy so fruity it's so strong to where i'm like oh my goodness but this is like really 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 nice um and yeah i enjoyed it doesn't make me like choke out when i wear it you ever put on perfumes and you're like holy shit this is like strong that one's really pleasant really nice really fresh that's why i like it and then my last product i should have put in with my makeup is the urban decay all nighter i this is basically the only setting spray i will use and that sucks because i really like the milani setting spray that used to be all i wore but this one has it was sitting here and i'm like i should mention it i wasn't even gonna put it in this video but this is my second bottle i'm obsessed it's probably more of like the since it's come out i don't think it came out last month i think it came out in july um but i think it's worth a mention because if you're looking for a great hydrating setting spray not a matte setting spray but a hydrating setting spray that'll make your makeup last all freaking day and night this one is my go-to and i really don't think um you would be upset by buying this because i think it's worth every penny we flew through this video guys i'm in shock really i'm in shock <laughs> have you guys tried any of these products are you interested in any of these products let me know also give me some product recommendations because i always love trying products out so that is it for this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next one thanks for watching